So this is a PS3 Slim, that's the hard drive here. It's 120 gig, it was listed as 160, but it's 120. So I'm going to be replacing that hard drive. Uh, sorry, I'm doing this weird. Uh, hard drive caddy, hard drive caddy cover, I've already taken all the screws out. Except for these three here, which are Torx. These just came in the mail. Six, seven bucks, Torx set. So I'm going to go ahead and take this apart. Uh, it's dusty as hell and I'm going to clean it. So, uh, got it taken apart. I missed a screw and broke the top part of the case a little bit, but uh, this case is in pretty bad shape anyways. I mean, there are chunks taken out of it. I don't know if that's going to focus and show you, but this case is not in the best shape. I mean, it doesn't have heavy scratches, but there are chunks missing out of it. And as you can see, it is just dusty as hell. So uh, I'm going to clean this, and uh, I'll put it back together, but I'm not going to screw it together. I'm going to replace the case, and uh, this is scratched, so I'm going to replace this too. It cost me like 28 bucks for a new case, and that included. Uh, it works fine, but like it does need a serious cleaning. And uh, let's finish this up. Okay, so now it's clean. And I'm going to plug it in and see how it goes. So we got the PS3 hooked to the TV. And uh, there's actually an uh, additional plug I bought. So it will not power on unless there's switch in the back. As you can see, I don't know if it'll show. There's a physical switch I bought. So you have to actually press that in. So that way it's not on all the time. And then we just press that. Press it. I don't know if it's going to press. Yeah, it's not working for some reason. Turn it off and turn it on again. Maybe you gotta wait. I don't know. It's just working, so. There it goes. Okay. PS3 is working. Uh, now I just gotta replace all the screws on it. I didn't screw anything in uh, because I gotta replace this piece here and I gotta replace the whole chassis. It's gonna cost me like 28 bucks. Uh, I also have to replace the hard drive. And I'll show you why in a minute. So as you can see, it's in demonstration mode. So this is, I don't have a remote uh, actually, so I have to get a remote. It's going to cost me like 25 bucks. I got to replace the chassis. It's going to be another 20. Maybe eight for this piece right here where the power button is. Uh, but if we take, let's say, Brothers Grimm. And let's get my only PS3 game I have, Metal Gear Solid. And uh, let's test this out. Sorry I'm doing this with one hand. So this was a demo model, so most likely it was sitting on a display somewhere at like a Best Buy or some shit. And I took this thing completely apart too, so I'm hoping it still works. Because I even took the Blu-ray player apart. I literally had to clean every nook and cranny of this fucking console. Okay, so that's a problem. I'm going to have to fix that now. Luckily, I didn't put it back together. But, uh, everything's working but the disk drive now. I can feel it spinning, so...
Okay, well, I'm gonna shut this off and fix the disk drive. Movie in and it was playing. Uh, it seems I have successfully reset the drive. So if we put a game in, it's loading. Again, I don't have a controller for this thing. Metal Gear Solid. Everything seems to be fixed with this PS3. Uh, the only thing I have to do now is I have to replace the hard drive, reflash the software because this is, uh, go ahead and take that out. This is a demo, this is on demo mode, so this was basically a floor model. Uh, so I got a reflash actual firmware on it. Uh, and put a new, I'm going to put an SSD in it. And uh, then I just got to replace this piece because it's damaged. So this whole piece here has to be replaced and the whole shell has to be replaced. And uh, that's my PS3. and power completely off from the back to keep it nice and cool and so that way power is not constantly going through it uh... if you want to know what that's like actually I can show you it's literally this switch here it plugs into the back of the PS3 and it has a full-on cutoff switch now what's really funny is the PS2 has this there's a switch here, right here. Sorry, it's dark as shit, uh, but it's there. And uh, the fat PS3 had it, but when they made the slim, they didn't put the cutoff switch on it, so it's just constantly running power through it, which eventually wears out the system, and it breaks down and fucks up. So stay tuned in a future video. Uh, next month, I will be completely refurbishing this PS3, and that will be that. I'll have a functioning PS3 for under, well, I don't want to say under 100 because this cost me 60 bucks. It's going to cost me another, maybe 80 to get the everything I need to fix it. So, uh, under $200 ain't bad for a PS3. So you guys want to do this next or if I make another video. So this is a weird video, but it's been week, week and a half uh, since the last part. So the video is kind of all over the place. Uh, so this is a 120 gigabyte Crucial SSD, as you can see there. Uh, and then I got a monitor stand. Uh, so i got to put this together. So, that is my PS3. Uh, it has been cleaned. Uh, this top part's broken, so that's the only thing i got to replace now. That's coming later this week. Uh, I also need a controller. Uh, this has been replaced. Uh, so, fun fact about that, by the way. So, EB Game Supplies on eBay is a terrible fucking seller. So, I had bought this universal adapter, and it was supposed to come with a new uh, button board, which is this thing here. And instead, they sent me this, which is used, and the, the uh, computer board, whatever the fuck you want to call it, was not for this model, so it wouldn't turn on at all. So, I took the one that was originally from this, and I put it inside this, and it worked fine. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I want to take the monitor stand. I'm going to move the PS3 over where the PS2 is. I want to put the monitor stand on top of the PS3. Put the PS2 on the monitor stand. So the PS2 is going to be on top of the PS3. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. And uh, within a couple days I'll shoot the last part of this video. And I'll show you how this works. So let's start with the SSD. This is a 120 gig SSD. It's actually very lightweight compared to the 120 gig hard drive. That's probably because it's basically just a small computer board. Uh, I've actually never held an SSD. This is the first time I've actually used one. Uh, it's 
feels like a toy. It literally feels like a cheap toy. So there's screws on the bottom. And we're just going to go ahead and take this and put the SSD in there and take those screws. Take the screwdriver. And this is all going to go together. So SSD is installed in the caddy. And now we're going to put it in the PS3. So let me go unplug the PS3 and we'll do that. Just go ahead and the lever right here. Just pull that down and let me get the PS3. PS3, so this has to go here and then this goes on top. And then blue screw goes on the bottom. Uh, I just noticed that this was actually not used. I thought it was. It turns out there was a protective film on it. So, uh, yeah, so that's cool. So let's go ahead and put this together now. Actually, let's see if I can do this one-handed. So, no, no, I can't. But that's going to go right there. And Anyways, I'll get to this, and then I'll show you. So there's the blue screw. That one just goes there, and then put the lid back on. And as you can see, we now have a SSD installed in our PS3. Well, in my PS3. Uh, I used electrical tape because this weird fucking tape was fucking pretty much gone. Uh, so now I'm going to put this together. And I'm going to plug this in. And I'm not going to be able to finish this until later on this week. Because I have the software for the update. But I don't have a controller yet. So let's... Uh, Let's get this monitor stand put together and then we'll see what happens if you turn on a PS3 with a brand new SSD that has no software on it. Monitor stand, it's actually pretty straightforward. You have U-shaped thingamajigs. Uh, these just basically go like that. And then apparently you're supposed to bolt that on. Uh, there it goes. Okay, so that one's on. And then... Doing this one-handed while looking into a camera is a pain in my ass. I don't know how people on YouTube do this. Maybe they just have more experience doing shit like this, but I sure as hell don't. Okay, so... Then we take... Cap thing. And, uh... Oh wow, look at that. There's actually a piece of paint that just came off. Whatever. Uh, anyways. Ignore the cheap $15 monitor stand that's actually made out of metal and not plastic, so kudos made in China piece of crap. Uh, but no, the reason why I got this is because it's the perfect height and... Uh, ventilation holes. So I'm gonna grab the wrench and do this and then we'll set it up. And that is why I bought the monitor stand. So in the future I'm gonna get a wireless PS2 controller because this controller is dog shit. It's made by Pelican. And for some reason the bump the lower bumpers on the left and right are down here. So you grab the controller like this and it's very fucking uncomfortable and a pain in my ass. Now for the PS3 I couldn't get an official dual shock because most of them are fucking counterfeit and eBay is the only place you can buy them. So I ended up getting a third party one that requires a USB dongle. Uh, and it's basically a rip off of the Xbox 360 controller. But it'll work. Uh, hopefully. So let's switch on the PS3. And see what happens to the television. Right now it's on Roku. Okay so. Switch it over to HDMI 2. And now what we're going to have to do is back here, there is a power switch plugged in. So we're going to plug that on and that turns on the console. Let's go ahead and push that. I don't know if it's going to turn on or not because I just put in an SSD that has no... Uh, there's no operating system on this SSD yet. I have the update and everything here, but... Okay, so it's doing something. 
Connect the controller using a USB cable and press the PS button. Okay, so it's still in demo mode. Uh, it looks like I'm going to have to update it. So, uh, I'll be doing that with the, later this week when I get the controller and everything. And, uh, that's it for now. Uh, let's see if we can't get it in, uh, the other mode. Okay, you know what? Go ahead and cut that off completely. I think you're supposed to hold this until it beeps. Okay. Getting into safe mode is a pain in the ass, by the way. Nope. It's not in safe mode. Hey, Sony, why couldn't you, uh... Why couldn't you make this fucking easier for me? Because this is a fucking pain in my ass. Okay. Keep holding it. I think it's supposed to beep like three times or some shit. Okay, now it just shut off. Okay, there it goes. Double beep. Is it going to go into safe mode now? Okay, well, it doesn't say demo mode, so I'm guessing this is safe mode. Uh, so what I got to do, because this was a demonstration model, and the reason why I bought an SSD is because I don't want the demo software on there. So I'm going to have to uh, get a controller and update this fucking thing. And that'll be later on this week. So until then, this is my PlayStation 2 and 3. Uh, focus on the 3. And uh, I also bought a couple games uh, this month. So I got Duke Nukem Forever and Lollipop Chainsaw coming. And what I'm excited to see if I can actually get working is this. So I bought Metal Gear Solid. Six of the games are digital though, so hopefully I can get those downloaded. If not, that's going in the fucking garbage. Or to GameStop, I don't fucking know. Uh, so yeah, until I get the shit, this is all I can do. Uh, and that'll be later on this week, and that's when I'll finish up this video. Okay, so this is my uh, final video for this PS3. So I ended up buying this uh, 360 style controller from Power A, and uh, even though it's brand new, it's not going to show on video, hang on, let me go turn on the light, there we go, okay, so, light's on, so I don't know if it's going to show on video, but it does look heavily used, even though it was brand new in package, and that's just because it's old, also this thing absorbs skin like fucking magnet. It's fucking gross. Uh, buttons are a little sticky sometimes, but it works. And uh, I have to replace the internal battery. It doesn't work wirelessly. Uh, it also uses RF, so it needs a USB dongle. And uh, it's basically mini B to mini B. Wait a minute, I'm doing this one hand again. So this is the final part for my PS3. I have been using it. Uh, I got the new top shell. It is a little scratched up, but uh, it works. So let's go ahead and uh, put that back. Okay, make sure.
make sure everything's plugged in properly. Go ahead and turn that on in the back. And before we turn that on, let's go to our controller. And we want input HDMI 2. And now that we've done that, hang on and turn the camera. Uh, go ahead and plug that in. So, what I ended up doing is I got some unofficial software update that made it go from demo mode to retail, and then I uh, officially updated it to the official software, uh, 8.3 or some shit. And, uh, hang on, turn the camera again. So, if we... Uh, I actually got some themes for it, too. So the theme I have here is Batman Arkham Asylum. And then I basically got rid of the Batman background because I kind of like this. This is cool. Uh, I have been playing it. I got uh, the two digital games. Metal Gear Solid VR Missions and the original Metal Gear Solid. Uh, Metal Gear Solid 2, I beat that by the way on very easy. Uh, I know, I fucking suck at games. I got Lollipop Chainsaw and uh, Duke Nukem Forever. And uh, let's go ahead and pop a game in and I'll show you how this works. So, uh, fuck it, let's go Duke Nukem. Uh, this game is a little bit of a pain in the ass. Uh, it's a good game. I don't know why people fucking hate it. There's been a lot of hateful reviews about this game online. Uh, the only thing I don't like is the fact that there's a software update for the disc. But, uh, I personally... Uh, the only thing I hate about Metal Gear Solid is this bullshit, is that two of the games were digital. I absolutely fucking hate digital, and I would much prefer to have a physical title. So, the other thing I did in the settings was I made it so if you put a game in, it doesn't automatically load like it was before. And, uh, so you have to manually load it. So let's go ahead and manually load it. I know, I should get a capture card, shouldn't I? Fortunately, I don't have the money, so... I mean, I can't even afford a cheap camcorder, so I'm using my phone. Uh, this is basically just to show that it's working. This game is super fucked up, by the way. I mean, you got you get a trophy for grabbing shit out of a toilet. Uh, you get stronger by popping steroid pills and drinking beer. My grandfather tells me all the time, Oh, video games are for kids. This game sure as shit ain't for kids, I can tell you that much. Oh, you got a trophy for that too, by the way. Oh, 
Also, as far as video games go, this is like one of the longest fucking intros I've ever seen. And now we're on the title screen. Press the start button. And uh, if we go to downloadable content. It's automatically sign in. I had to change my fucking password too. I fucking hate Sony sometimes. Pain in my fucking ass. So I paid ten dollars for this game, brand new, sealed. And uh, there's two add-ons, so that'll cost me an additional twenty. So the whole game itself will cost me sixty bucks. Uh, which. Uh, actually, no, the whole game itself cost me 30 bucks for a $60 game. So the great thing about waiting and not buying things uh, when they first come out is because if there's problems with the hardware, uh, you know, you're not one of the people who are like, oh, fuck, my hardware broke or some shit, uh, which was the case with the first PS3. Uh, so it basically allows you, if you wait, if if you uh, if you wait to buy a console until like the generation's over, uh, that's the way I like to do it personally because one I'm fucking broke, and two, it allows you to look back at the generation and see okay, what was wrong with it, which is the best version of this console, because there's always mod uh, numerous versions. Uh, it also allows you to buy games that were sixty dollars like Duke Nukem, for $10. Again, I bought this brand new, sealed. Same thing with Lollipop Chainsaw. Uh, Lollipop Chainsaw cost me 23 bucks. Again, new, brand new, sealed. Uh, I want to say it was 20 bucks for Metal Gear Solid. A lot of games for the PlayStation 2 and 3 are dirt cheap. 